Hello, so I want to quickly talk you through how you can set up conversion tracking within your LinkedIn ads account. It's an essential activity. So first off, you need to be logged into your LinkedIn ads account, obviously. Then on the left hand side, you should have this menu. You want to click on analyze and you want to bring up conversion tracking here, which will bring up this view. Now, to, to be able to set up a conversion, you have to have an insight tag installed on your website. You probably would have done this or a developer. If you need to install it, you can press on insight tag and it will guide you through how to install it. You either install the um, um, code directly into the um, body uh, tag of your website or you use a tag manager or you can just forward it on to a developer who works at your company. I have a separate video as to how to set up an insight tag. So if you need a full video guide, you can do that. But make sure your insight tag is set up first. Once your insight tag is set up, you can check to see if it's on your website. So if you go onto your website and you press F12 and then you come along to elements if you're not already in it. And once you're in this um, section here, you want to hold control and press F if you're on computer. And then you just want to type in partner and you want to press enter until you see this thing here, partner ID um, and then equals and then a number. That will give you your partner ID and show that the insight tag is installed on your website. If you've installed your insight tag via um, Google Tag Manager, sometimes it doesn't show up using this method, but then you should just be able to go into your um, Google Tag Manager account and check that it's active within there. So once you have your LinkedIn insight tag set up, we're going to come to this view, as I said, on the left hand side by clicking conversion tracking under analyze. And we're going to click this drop down saying create conversion. We want to click on online conversion. You can set up offline conversions. In my opinion, they're not worth it on uh, LinkedIn. We've tried bit of a faff. So you're going to have to do online conversion. Click that there. And then you need to name the conversion. Obviously, name this best uh, for you. We already have a conversion set up for people who uh, hit our thank you page, therefore book an appointment. So I'm going to set up a new conversion for people who view the page, the sign up uh, page, but don't necessarily convert. So we're going to set one up here, which is sign up page viewer. And then we want to do here is we want to select what that action means. We need to tell LinkedIn because it doesn't know. It could be a page view, could be a free demo, could be, um, as I say, someone applying for a job. LinkedIn will use that if you are running a conversion optimization campaign to optimize your campaigns based on what you tell it. So you want to be as specific as you can. So right here we are going to go with, it's a bit annoying because it's, uh, if it was a thank you page, we would go with book appointment or something like that. But it is a key page view, so we're going to add that instead there. You can add a numeric value to this conversion. So if you know what your average order value is, you can say, well, someone's uh, completed an application and has signed up for a sales call with us. And we know that's usually worth an average 500. Or if you have an exact close amount, you can enter that in there. What that allows you to do is uh, report your return on investment or return on ad spend within the LinkedIn ads account. So if you can, and if you want to fill that out, you don't have to. This next section here is attribution. How uh, is the conversion going to be attributed? So clicked means they've actually interacted with it. Viewed means they've just seen it. Um, and then we want to change this drop down here to last touch, last campaign. Basically, if we had each campaign selected, if that conversion was listed against multiple campaigns, it can report the, um, the conversion on multiple campaigns and then give you dud readings. If we set it to last campaign, it will only report the conversion for the last touch um, in the last campaign. So you only get one conversion reported, which is really what you want, because realistically, you've only had one conversion. You don't want to over report. Next up, we're going to click next step. And then here we can select which uh, campaigns we want that to be um, conversion to be associated with. We don't have to do anything just now. We can leave that and I'll show you what you can do in a second to associate different conversions to campaigns. But if you already have campaigns set up and you just immediately want to connect them, you can just select them. For now, we're skipping this step. Next up, we want to define for LinkedIn how it's going to register the conversion, like what is the conversion. Uh, and usually we want to go with page loads on this just because it's a way easier process. If you have a website, I'd recommend separating out your stages on uh, of your, your funnel, such as the, the landing page, the sign up page and the thank you page. So they're each physically different pages and they have different URLs. The reason you want to do that is it's way easier to monitor that than it is to have maybe a pop up that just shows up on your landing page uh, and then confirms on the same page. It's more complicated and we want to go with the simplest option. So we have a page here, which is our contact page. 
which is the second step of an R funnel. And I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to put it in this field here. Um, we can set this to equal, so it has to be exactly that URL. We can say starts with or contains, and that's going to depend on um, what you're doing. It could be that you have a multitude of different contact pages, but they all start forward slash contact, and then it might be another forward slash because it it's, um, sort of trickles down. It might be page one or something like that. So you can make it uh, sort of easier for yourself by doing starts with or equals, but for now, we're going to go with contains and we just want to have that contact in there because we've made it quite simple. You can add in multiples as well. So you could press um, and also and also and add things in there. But again, keep it simple. You can also have another rule here. So you can add in multiple pages for one conversion if you want to. I'd recommend keeping them separate just because it's easier to, to monitor them. After you've done that, all you need to do is press create and boom, it will be created. Now, obviously, you want to check that you're receiving a signal from that. Um, and to do that, what you can do it probably won't work straight away, but let's give it a go is we can go onto the page, refresh it. So you want to view that page and then you want to just check that LinkedIn is receiving that signal. The chance of it receiving that that quick is slim. So no, it's not receiving it. But what we do is we test it again in about five to ten minutes. Um, and just see if it's receiving a signal. If it's receiving a signal, good news. First off, your insight tag is working. It's the easiest way to see if your insight tag is working. And secondly, you know that conversion's working. So once the conversion is set up, we then want to assign it to different campaigns because that's the whole point, right? Um, so what we do is when you're building out a campaign, you can come in here and at the very bottom, you have conversion tracking and it will have a list of all the conversions you've set up already. All you want to do is select the conversions that are applicable. I would recommend keeping it simple and just having like one conversion per campaign. A lot of people in their ad accounts will select all the conversion events they've set up. And by doing that, you just overcomplicate things. With a campaign, you should have a defined outcome. I want someone to sign up for a webinar. I want someone to um, go for a demo. I want someone to have a free trial, whatever that may be. Set up that one clearly defined action and just use one conversion because it's simpler. Obviously, there's exceptions to all rules, but that's how I'd start out. Also, if you wanted to add in conversions on mass, so instead of having to go into each individual campaign and add the conversion, you can get back to the view we were just in by clicking on the conversion and then just working your way back through the steps. So then we can say, right, I want it on these campaigns here and just select um, a load of different campaigns. And that can be a faster route to add those in um, should you feel you need to. And now that we've added that conversion in and we've assigned that conversion, um, we can now see the conversion rates. We get reporting on our campaign. So as you can see here, we have um, 60 conversions. We can see the conversion rate on the page here and we can see the cost per conversion uh, broken down by campaign. If for whatever reason you cannot see that information, there's a um, section at the top here which says columns and you can click on that. They have predefined ones here, but if you go down to the very bottom, you can press customize columns and that will bring up this view here. So you have this option where you can then choose specific columns to be shown up. And at the very top, you have a search function. So there are a lot of options. We can just type in conversion and then tick whichever ones are relevant to us. So that is how to set up conversion tracking and some practical applications as to how to use it. If you have any questions around this process, anything didn't make sense, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Additionally, we have a guide on LinkedIn, which is the ultimate LinkedIn ads guide. So if you're struggling with your LinkedIn ads campaign, make sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, we have loads of guides specifically for LinkedIn ads campaign uh, campaigns and they get received fairly well. So if you need some guidance as to your LinkedIn um, ads and you want to grow your company, make sure to subscribe because we have loads of content that's going to help you out. Also, very, very finally, I know nearly there, um, I have a uh, an offer for you, which is a free growth strategy workshop. So we can go through your existing LinkedIn ads account or if you're thinking about setting one up, we can go through it one on one. You get my time, limited space, unfortunately, because we do get a lot of applicants. Um, but yeah, you can have my time and I can look through and figure out if LinkedIn is viable for you. LinkedIn ads they're not for everyone. There's loads of variables that you want to take into consideration when figuring out if it is right for you. It might just not be the right place for you. I can tell you and save you a lot of time and a lot of money. There's a link to sign up for that free growth strategy workshop again in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and speak to you very, very soon.